What up, Fight World? It's the Kid Ego, and I'm back with another fight prediction. This time, I want to talk about the upcoming Josecito Lopez uh, Canelo Alvarez fight. Um, before I get started, I want to say I think Golden Boy should have selected another date. As soon as they found out that Victor Ortiz Canelo fight was no longer an option because Victor Ortiz got his job broke, I think they should have just selected another date altogether because really it's the fight fans, the avid boxing fans are the ones who suffer because you got two mega fights or two huge fights going on the same day and now we're forced to pick which one uh, we want to watch first and um, instead of having a pissing contest with top rank and, and both keeping the date I think as soon as you didn't have a pay-per-view card or something you felt was pay-per-view worthy Golden Boy should have bowed down and and selected another date altogether and then aside from that I think there's a lot of contenders in the 154 pound division in which Canelo fights where he could have uh, easily faced them and it would have made more sense as far as an opponent goes. You got people like Vanez, you got Austin Trout before he signed on to fight Cotto. Um, you got, uh, what, what's his name? Uh, Laura, you got K9. K9 even called Canelo out at the end of his uh, defeat of Corey Spinks in his post fight interview. So to me, those fights made more sense. It seems at least you're fighting somebody who's fought at that division before, as in, instead of pulling someone up who was fighting at 140, moved up to 147, <clears throat> and now they're moving up again to face you. So I think those are more legitimate defenses, and those people have titles. Well, back to my fight prediction. I'm going to go on a limb, and I'm going to say Josecito Lopez. And I know the odds are definitely stacked up against Josecito. And they were in the last fight against Victor Ortiz. I think he's tall enough where he can put on the extra weight. He said he's been sparring some people who are heavier in weight. And he, he sparred Chris Ariola, who's his good friend. I I just, maybe I'm, I'm, I'm betting with my heart a little bit. But I like his story. He has the Rocky underdog story. And... I think it would be a good lesson for Golden Boy, who who may have underestimated him. And I'm just riding with the underdog on this one. Um, furthermore, I don't think it's impossible for Josecito to pull off the upset. A lot of people that I've seen on the forums and in the comments, they're saying Canelo destroys Josecito. And I don't think it's going to be as one-sided as a lot of people are making it out to be. A lot of people are saying... He basically stops him, knocks him out inside of one or two rounds. And in my opinion, from what I see, I see Josecito, at the at the very least, you, you have to admit that he has heart. And uh, he has chin, it, it, it appears, because he hasn't been knocked out in his, his professional career yet. And obviously he's going up two weight classes, in essence. So, I mean, that's going to be the ultimate test. If he can take Canelo's power then I think Canelo's going to be in for a long night. And and just to get to touch on Canelo, I think people give Canelo more credit than what he deserves. And don't get me wrong, I'm not a I don't hate Canelo. I'm not a Canelo hater. I'm just a fan of the sport and I'm going to keep it real. But with Canelo, I I see a fighter who gets a lot of praise. He's already reached the pretty much the superstardom level and when you look at his track record, you look at his rap sheet and his resume, who has he beat? I don't think he's beat anybody in in their prime or somebody who was young and hungry that had a big name in the sport. And if you look back, I mean, I don't got to make this up. You research it. These, are, I mean, these are facts. Kermit Centron lost two out of three of his last fights, and then Canelo faced him. Mosley. Mosley lost... He won against Margarito, then he lost against Floyd, then he lost again to Manny Pacquiao, and then that's the point where they take the Shane Mosley fight. Uh, Carlos Baldemir, he was pushing 40, and he clearly wasn't in his prime. He was in decline, and that's the time that Canelo faces him. So to me, those those wins aren't as impressive. Or then you got other people in the sport who have a name, but they're famous for different reasons, like basically their namesake. Like he fought Ricky Hatton's brother. He fought Miguel Cotto's brother. And and we all know that Ricky Hatton and Miguel are, are far superior in terms of uh, quality and boxing ability than their brothers. Um, and I just look at his rap sheet, and I don't, I'm not, thoroughly convinced 
I'm not I'm not saying he's not a good boxer. He doesn't have good technique, good strength, but a lot of people give Canelo a lot of praise and and think he's going to just he's invincible and he's going to destroy everybody, but my my question to them is who is he beat to make you believe that that's the case? Cuz I don't feel like he's really beat anybody in their prime condition. And I know a lot of going to get a flat for this and some people are going to disagree, but leave a comment and let me know out of 40 fights and Canelo has been a professional boxer since age 15. So out of over 40 plus fights, he's been pro since he was 15. His biggest name is Shane Mosley. And, and we all know that was a Shane Mosley that was on the decline. I think he took one last swing for the for the fences. He was hoping for a home run and it didn't work out. I mean, and it shows because after the fight, he retired. So, um, like I said, I think people give Canelo a little bit more praise than than what he actually deserves. Because in my opinion, he hasn't he hasn't been battle tested uh, with someone who's young, hungry, or somebody who who I feel is an elite fighter. And like I said, if you can think of one, just let me know who that person who that person is. Um, but not to take anything away from Canelo, he's a good fighter. He's strong. Um, he shows good technique. Um, these are just my opinions. Like I said, I'm riding with Josecito on this one. He's an underdog. I like his story. And again, I don't think it's as impossible as a lot of people are making it out to be. A lot of people are, are just saying Canelo destroys him. And I think it's going to be a lot more competitive. At the very least, Josecito is going to put on a, a, a valiant effort and give Canelo some problems. But that's my opinion. Let me know what you think. We'll find out on Saturday. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. And... The last thing I guess I want to say is when boxers start looking too far in the future instead of focusing on the the opponent in front of them, that's when upsets tend to happen. And we've seen it in the Amir Khan, Danny Garcia. Amir Khan, he's already thinking about fighting Floyd Mayweather and things like that. And we've seen what happened in that fight. Uh, Danny Garcia was definitely the underdog in that fight. And i seen an interview with Canelo, and it's kind of the same thing. He was talking about... He doesn't really want to fight Chavez Jr. if he if he wins because he's looking to fight Floyd Mayweather. And with Josecito Lopez, I feel you have a live underdog. So hopefully Canelo's not underestimating that fact and looking too far in the future. Because, like I said, that's when upsets tend to happen. Let me know your comments. We'll find out September 15th. Hopefully it's just a great night of boxing. And I'm looking forward to it.